Kilauea volcano is still erupting at the summit caldera, but with what appears to be reduced vigor in recent days. Today, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory noted intermittent spattering from the west vent in the summit crater. All other vents are quiet. As of 4 a.m. this morning, the lava lake was measured at 587 to 591 feet deep. This graph plots the depth of the lake since the start of the eruption. Sulfur dioxide emission rates on Monday were measured at about 3,300 tons per day. That's the lowest rate measurement since the eruption began. The reading is still considered elevated, but scientists say it's in a range that was common for the pre-2018 lava lake. A series of recent HVO videos show the decreasing activity at the west vent. This was how the vent appeared two nights ago, when strombolian bursts and lava cascades were recorded during the night. Lava was plunging into the lava lake at multiple locations from as high as 130 feet. This time-lapse video, recorded over a three-hour period on Monday, shows the diminishing activity in the lava channel on the right. Scientists reported the channel had narrowed and the flow had become more sluggish with occasional pulses. Activity picked up slightly in the lava channel on the left, which is partially covered by a lava roof. HVO says a small whirlpool is visible in the lake at the base of the lava channels. This video was recorded early Tuesday morning. It shows lava is still erupting from the right channel of the West Fissure. HVO says laser rangefinder measurements indicate that the opening is 13 to 20 feet wide. All current activity is confined to the summit. HVO says there is no seismic or deformation data to indicate that magma is moving into the volcano's rift zones. Scientists also say the data shows slight contraction in the upper portion of the East Rift Zone. Answering questions from the public over Twitter on Tuesday, the U.S. Geological Survey said the contraction of the East Rift Zone and recent inflation at the summit is opposite of the dramatic events of 2018. The scientists said it's possible that magma from the contracting portion of the East Rift Zone is flowing back to the summit reservoirs. They said the signal is small and preliminary modeling shows it to be just a small amount of magma returning to the summit. The scientists also said it could be due to a decrease in the amount of lava erupted from the western fissure and a drain back of lava into the north vent. Scientists say they have collected tephra samples and will be doing an analysis to see if they can track where the magma has been. For example, if magma has gone into the upper east rift zone and has now returned. HVO scientists say they will continue to monitor the ongoing Kilauea summit eruption from within a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. They are standing on a portion of the chain of craters road that collapsed into the caldera as it dropped down two years ago. The team is equipped with a range of specialized safety gear and personal protective equipment, and will continue to issue daily updates and additional messages as needed.